hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you and uh, special good morning for those who they are in Indonesia and in uh, um, India Thailand Philippines all those who they are in Asia and now soon in Europe they will be with us um, as you see our topic today is about what Muslims always come to us with in the front of me there is a website and this website is made uh, the purpose of it is just to convert you to Islam it's called Islam for Christians I mean how silly if even the name Islam came to destroy Christians not to save Christians so how you can say Islam for Christians when the Quran says that Allah he hate the Christians and he hate the Jews when the Quran says Allah will spread hate and enmity between the Christians and the Jews until judgment day between the Christians to each other how this book can be a book for the Christians how Islam can be for the Christians how God can be for anyone good or he want to believe in something good if this God he says it clearly that he is a person who loves to promote hatred and to spread hatred as you see in the front of your eyes this is their book it's their translation this is their website and this is their Allah so instead of making an article speaking about Allah is one what about we focus in the quality of this one you know at the end of the day I don't care if your God Allah is one or two or even five or even if he is a snake have seven heads what we care for is how ethical how good he is but bragging too much about Allah is one I find it very silly and very funny because he is one what Satan is one too <laughs> I mean, if if uh, being one that would make you God, that is the most silly, uh, uh, you know, uh, a claim or argument ever. I am one too. Uh, here we go. I'm God then. I am not two. Trust me. I'm not even four. So I find always the the Muslim argument about their God, about Allah being one, is I find it very silly, and I find it a bankruptcy argument. They think if they say to us and they say our God is one, now we will believe that their God is God. But this is not what make God God. Let us say there is somebody he believe he have one thousand God, and then later we found that his God is his gods are exist. They are real. That change anything. Nothing change. The question is, is your God really is exist? Secondly, this one God you talk about, what kind of God he says I'm going to spread hatred and enmity between the Christians? A verse like this in the front of me and then you say to me in a website like this we see here that Islam for the Christians and you put for us the Quran and the Torah and the Bible how hypocrite how Islam is for a Christian and Islam says the God of Islam he target the Christians to spread hatred and enmity between them now the guy who keep calling me, his name is Cool Guy. I don't know why he keep calling. Should I block you? Are you suffering from mental issue? Why keep calling? Before you call, you have to ask for permission. And as you see, we just started. I mean, we did not say anything yet. Allah is one and only God. Mm hmm. I find it this is very funny the Muslim they never even know what Allah mean if you ask any Muslim if you ask Muhammad himself if you ask any Arab speaking person like me not those Abdul who know nothing about Islam what Allah mean they do not know what is the root of Allah do not know you see you find the posted argument or claims in the internet that Allah is a word they diverted from the word Ilah that's a stupid statement that's not true Allah is diverted from something else. I agree. It is two words, which is al lah. Let us teach Abdul about their God. Al lah. Let's make the lah 
big in Arabic there's no capital letter there's no small letter anyway but that's for you know the English uh, reading al la al in the old Aramaic and old Hebrew is a word mean God it's not a name it's not um, uh, I mean, uh, uh, it's it's it is a word that exists by itself, which means if we add L between anything, follow it, that will make what is after it the name, which is considered to be God. So I say, if I say Al Moon, I just say the Moon is God. If I say Al Sun, I just say that the Sun is God. So if I say Al Law, I just say it. La is God. So the real name of the God of Islam is La, is not Allah. This is why if we go in the Quran, we will find the following. <coughs> if we go to the first chapter in the Quran, <coughs> you will find right away that the first two verses, they present the name of the God of Islam in two different ways. Now, for sure, those who don't speak Arabic, maybe they will not notice, but I will help you to notice with me <coughs> what we are talking about. <coughs> you notice here with me, this word here, Allah, have this letter in the beginning. But this one does not have that letter in the beginning. Do you notice it? So, what is different between this name and this name here there is a this letter is missing here it's not exist why because simply the first one says <coughs> in the name of god la the second one says thanks to li la thanks to la the word al is gone which is mean God so so the first one it says in the name of God la the second one says alhamdu thanks to the letter L here I will write it for you <coughs> this one here is equal to two in English so alhamdulillah That is the name of your God. So what Muslims are suffering from is ignorance about who is their God and what their God name is. They don't even know what their God name. They keep saying Allah, 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 but the fact Allah is not one word. The same as if you ask a Muslim, what Jibreel mean? They think Jibreel is one word. Jibreel is not one word. Same as Israel. Israel is not one word. You see? What, what Muhammad did to himself, he got himself busted as a false prophet when he copied this na those names. If we type the word Israel in Arabic or in English, <coughs> Israel, you notice that the last two letters are Il. Il in the old Hebrew used to be Al. So it used to be Ezra Al. Not Ezra, Il. So the, the same letters we use in the front of Allah is the same word used for Israel. So Israel used to be Israel, which means God. So Il and Al is a word meaning God. But Muhammad the thief, when he stole those names, he did not know the difference. And he got himself busted. Because the update in the name is an update of a language, not an update of God. To make it simple for you. In the old language, God was a Al. In the new language, it was transform into el this is why we say in the bible that we call jesus emmanuel el 
ill can sometimes come in the beginning of the world or in the front of it or at the end it's the same still it's a word me God Gabriel Mikael Israel Ishmael all of those used to be Al not ill so the original name of Israel is Israel and if we ask a Muslim what Israel mean they have no idea what Israel mean they have no idea what Mikael mean they have no idea why because Muhammad simply he's a thief he did not know where those names are coming from and he think they are just the names in fact they are not every one of those is a sentence and a statement it is not a name but when you are a thief you take it you do not know what are you talking about the same as Muhammad when he copy from a book which is written by Warqa the Nofal, we find him saying the following as an example. <clears throat> if you go to this verse, chapter 6, verse number 74, you will see the Muslims Consider the word Azar as a name for Abraham's father. Why? And this why is not translated because this is a name. We don't translate a name. The fact this is not a name, but because Muhammad himself is a thief, and then those who follow after, they are just copy paste. They thought that this is the name of the father of Abraham. But all of us, we can go and see what the name of Abraham. You can go right now to Google. Type two words and you will find okay. Type in Google what is the name of the father of Abraham, and you will see this is absolutely false. The Muslims they think that Azar is the name of the father of Abraham based in their disconnection or disconnect with the with the knowledge of where the name is coming from or what the word is mean. This is not a name, this is a word mean foolish. So imagine because of the stupidity of this cult. The word foolish became a name of the father of Abraham. So imagine I say to somebody, foolish. The Muslim Abdul, he think I am calling him that this is his name. And then he will write in the book, uh, Christian Prince, he called this guy foolish. So his name is foolish. Why they thought this is a, this is a name? Because they do not know what Azar means. And that is showing us the foolishness of the founder of this cult so from a, from azar saying to his father foolish are you going to worship idols this is what it says hey fool are you fool you worship idols makes sense right now it makes sense nobody called his father by his, by his name because this is this is disrespect you don't say to your father hey uh, my, my father etc you don't call him by his name you say to him, Father. So, Father, Azar, this is foolish. Are you going to worship idols? And now that makes sense. But for a foolish religion, for a foolish prophet, for a foolish cult, the foolish became a name. So now, according to Muhammad, Abraham, his last name is Foolish. Let me introduce to you Prophet Abraham the Foolish. His father's name is Foolish and his mother's name is Silly. And here, right away, we notice that this is, cannot be from God. So, why the Muslims, they focus too much about saying to us that Allah is one God? When Satan is one Satan. You see, uh, Muhammad, uh, he tried to come to the conclusion that there's many Satans, but according to the Quran, there's only one. The first Satan, his name is Iblis. There's only one Iblis. So, is Iblis as God? Somebody claim that Iblis is going to share with mankind 
their children. And you find that in the Quran, as an example, chapter 18, verse number 50. And then the Muslims, in order to come to, uh, to like a solution for this, how Iblis is going to have a children? Who is, the, who is his wife? I mean, this is silly. Iblis, Iblis is the first, is you know, for you know, like Muslims, they have a very funny uh, cult, is a very confusing cult. Allah, He kicked from heaven only one Satan, only one. As you see, He is the only one who refused to bow down to Adam, and He was right. You know, this God is crazy. Why you are asking me to bow down to Adam? He's a man like me. I mean, I, I am. I am actually made from a better nature, nature from him. Why you are ordering? You know, and what is the what is the logic? The Muslim they say to us, Allah is one God, and we worship God only. When their God Himself is asking Shaitan and the angels to bow down, worshiping Adam. The first one who order human, uh, uh, you know, uh, someone to bow down to a human, it was Allah. So your God, Allah, is a mushrik. You see, the Muslim, they say to us, we as Muslim, we bow down only to Allah, which is a big fat lie, as you see. This is the God of Islam himself is ordering the angels and shaitan. Actually, by the way, he ordered only the angels, but he get upset from the shaitan, which is very silly and stupid. Because of shaitan, according to Islam, for those who do not know, Satan is not an angel, not like in the Bible. So don't be confused. Islam does not teach that Satan is an angel. Satan is a, cre a creator by himself from different kind. They call them genie, which is taken from stories from India and Persia. Genie and the ball. So Muhammad, he think that Allah created three kind of creatures: human, angels, and genies. There's no demon. That's it. Like some some uh, naive Christians, they keep mixing between what they believe in the Bible and what the Muslim believe. There's no demon in Islam. They don't believe in demon. So don't think when we say genie that is a demon. No, don't be silly. So, genie and the human and angels. Okay? Now, Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam, but he, the genie, he refused, which, which makes sense. But the, but the story here is more silly because Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down. If you remember, in my debate with Sheikh Abdul Wadud, he could not answer me, and he could not find me. How in the world this mistake happened? How I say all cats say, say meow and then I get upset from the dog for not saying meow. Very silly. He's a dog. He's not a cat. I ordered the angels to bow down. Why I'm set from the genie? So Islam is a silly religion. The second you start reading and the second you start understanding, especially if you speak Arabic, you will find how stupid the Quran in Arabic and how funny the meaning is. And then the translation come to cover up some of the stupidity but it doesn't work no more especially with someone like me so here what you see that muhammad god supposedly the one god quote unquote the silly god one god he says that genie is going to share with your children and he's saying are you going to take him and his children's as a protectors so allah he just confirmed that shaitan he have a children's and now we try to solve the problem. How shaitan is going to have a children's? If you go and read the interpretation for this verse, you will see the Muslim scholars, they come with the story. And the story is very funny. That shaitan, he if himself every day. Allah, he created for him a penis in the right leg. And he created for him a vagina in the left leg. So he want, when he want to have sex, he shake his legs. Uh, by the way, I'm shaking my legs right now because it's cold, not because uh, I'm having sex. Okay? So, uh, stop my legs. Stop. I cannot stop them. It's cold. So, look how funny this cult is. Shaitan, he have a penis 
Because Muslim, they have to find a solution now. Okay, the Quran says Shaitan, he have children, but he don't have a wife. So what we will do? How we can solve this problem? We have to come with something. So they come with it. And now Shaitan, he have, and by the way, if there's a Muslim, he want to say to me, this is a lie, I don't, but I don't believe it, will challenge me, call me right now, and I will show you the reference. Can you give the link you are using? Yeah, it's called Quran. Wow, as you see, it's really wow. <laughs> Quran, Quran, wow, very wow. But as you see, all those Muslim translation is not to be trusted. This is why I'm working in the Quran translation right now. Now, just because we mentioned this, I don't want to just mention it without showing reference. You know, the Muslim they will say, "Oh, he's lying." <clears throat> Okay, Shaitan. All right. This is Tafsir Al Qurtubi, and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. You will see here it says the following Waqala Mujahid. وقال مجاهد إن إبليس أدخل فرجه في فرج نفسه فباض خمس بيضات that إبليس he did enter his private part into his private part and he lay five eggs and this is the origin of his children and it says that Allah he created for him in his right thigh a penis and in the left thigh a vagina so who do he do nikah by this uh, with this by that? You see here the word yankah. The Muslim they say to us that the word yankah means getting married, but as you see, it not. It's not about getting married. It's about physical. Uh, you know, fahwa uh, yankahu. Here, shaitan is getting married from who? The left leg from the right leg? No, there's no marriage. It's effing. So he f this with that, this with that, this what? The penis, which is in the right side, as you see, okay, a penis, a vagina. So he do nukah to this by that, and then here continue saying, and every time he do that, every day he lay down ten eggs. So finally, we discover that in Islam, shaitan is a chicken. In the best scenario, he's a turkey. All right, and then the story, the fantasy story, continue. I mean, we, uh, Muhammad cannot stop there. Muhammad, he have to give us some wisdom, and then he says, because there is no way the Muslims are coming with this from their own. It's, it must be coming from from their prophet, right? And then he, after he laid down ten eggs, يخرج من كل بيضة سبعون شيطان وشيطانة, and from every egg he laid down. 70 Satan, male Satan, and female Satan. See, the first Satan, he have a, a penis and a, and, a, and a vagina in the same in the in his body, but his children no. There's male Satan and there's female Satan, and from every egg there is 70 Satan. Now, if we from every egg we have 70, and he is laying down 10 eggs every day. What is the total of? The babies, Shaitan, he make every day. Seven hundred Satan. Every day. I don't swear, I don't curse. Where well, I'm cursing, surely. Guys, did I curse? Where well, I cursed? Uh, a person saying a Christian prince, he have a unique way of cursing and swearing. What are you talking about? Where is my curse? You know, sometimes people are silly. So as you see here, and not only that, it says, and then those 70 Satan and Shaitan, male and female, when they come out, they fly immediately.
So when a Muslim he focus in Allah being a one God, are you focusing? Why you don't focus about Allah the silly God? Why you don't focus about Allah the fairy tale God? Why you don't focus about Allah the fiction God? Why you don't focus about the porn star God who wanna make you horny in heaven, give you a lot of women, boys for sex in this penis? Right. So as you see here, when the Muslims they try to focus about Allah being one, they are trying to take your attention away from the quality and the stupidity we find in their book about their God. So let us focus in Allah being one and let us forget about Allah being one stupid. Let us focus about Allah being one and let us not to remember that Allah is one satanic. You know, when, when we ask the Muslim, why Allah must spread hatred between the Christians? When the Muslim, they make a website like this for us, saying Allah is the only true God and the name of the website is Islam for Christians. How Islam is for Christians, yet Islam says that Allah he target the Christians and he want to spread hatred and enmity between the Christians uh, Sorry, I forgot Twitter on <clears throat> Do you see how silly this cult is? How silly who care who care if your God is one tell me about the quality of your one God or two God or three gods they try to fool us giving us article about we are people of monotheism no you don't have a monotheism you Muslim you don't worship Allah alone and the proof is the Shahada what is going to make me a Muslim? If I say I believe in Allah, is that accepted? No. You have to say I believe there is no God but Allah and there is no perverted prophet but Muhammad. And if you say that, then you are a Muslim. If you say you believe in Allah only, that's not Islam. It's rejected. So Islam is like a, 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 like an, a grave covered by marble they try to put the most expensive marble in the top of it but in the end it's a grave it is silly it's a stupid it's hateful it's violence and far away from reality too as an example <clears throat> when the Muslims they say to us that our God he taught us about himself okay what he taught you about yourself about himself in fact nothing what the Muslims they knew about their God nothing or what they knew he have two hands in the right side which obviously maybe it's a birth defect or something <clears throat> have you ever heard of a God he have two hands in the right side That's your God? You have one God who have two hands and both of them in the right side. What happened? Did he go through an accident or something? So they focus in their God as one God, but they don't focus in the silliness of this God. Why does God have two hands in the right side? What happened? And why he have hands anyway? You know, the Muslim they say to us, Allah is not a man. You Christians worship a man. 
but their God have five fingers have a foot have a shin and actually the Quran says that in the before the judgment day Allah is going to expose his shin hmm? And imagine imagine if you are a person who have two hands in the right side of your body that is a this is a problem my friend what if somebody spank you from the left side what you what, what how you can respond to this so you are like this here <clears throat> let us say this is Allah and now his hands both of them are in the right side Allah have a shin it doesn't confirm that Allah have two or not but it says only a shin so we can draw only that he have one and he have a foot so all what we know that Allah he have one shin and one foot there's nowhere it mentioned that Allah have two shins or two foot and then Allah he have two hands in the right both of them are here each one of them have five fingers Now, Christian Prince is here. He come and he punch Allah in his left shoulder from the left side. Now, Christian Prince, he have two legs. And he have hands in both sides. So he have advantage over Allah because Allah only can respond from somebody or to somebody. He is in his right side. But if a Christian prince hit him here in the left side, Allah cannot respond because he have no hand there. Same time, if we ask ourselves, your God Allah is not a man. He have two hands, he have one foot, he have two eyes. He have a face, he have a mouth. That's wonderful. Why he need those parts? You see, when we say, that I have a hand is to use it to grab with it our Lord the Messiah he have hands because he come to us in a form of a man but our Lord the Messiah he can control the nature without using his hands as simple as that he can resurrect people from death without using any tools he can heal people by saying, you are healed. The same as he say, you are forgiven. Allah, he need his hands to do work. As an example. <clears throat> when Allah, he created Adam, did he created him by saying, be and he was, as a verse in the Quran says to us? All those verses in front of us, by the way, mentioning that Allah He have hands. All right. As you see, there's many, many, many verses. But the most important is. But Allah created Adam by his hands and in his image. If you go in the Quran, you will find the Muslims, they are suffering from many problems which they cannot explain. Because the Quran is a copy book of other books and it's not connected with those books, which means it's a collection of stories. We took them and, uh, uh, you know, and we put them together and it doesn't matter if they are, you know, they mean anything at the end of the day. It's just a collection of stories. And Muhammad, whatever he hear from, hear from people around him, he take it, he put it there. 
But when the Quran says in chapter 38 verse number 75 that Allah created Adam by his hands How the Muslims will solve this problem anyone knows what is the problem now? Who knows what the problem the this is a big problem If a Muslim consider himself Worshipping one God who created Adam by saying be as other verse in the Quran says or claim which is proving Islam to be false again. Why? Because how one verse says, hmm. Allah, he says to Adam, be and he was. Another verse says, Allah said, in chapter 3, verse number 1, uh, chapter 15, uh, verse number 59, the likeness of Jesus with Allah is at the likeness of Adam. He created him of dust. Then he said to him, be, and he was. <laughs> but this verse says that he created him by his hands, not by his mouth. Not by using a word. In different verse, it says that Allah, he breathed into Adam too. In other verse, it says that even Adam himself he said to Allah finish me before the sunset which mean Allah has taken him very long to finish Adam but we notice here that Allah here is confirming supposedly the one is talking is Allah but obviously this is Muhammad confirming that he created Adam with his hands so what is hands of Allah any Muslim have an idea Why Allah needed to create Adam by his hands? You see, we do things based on, let us say, uh, if I can now, let us say, I have a problem with Maruf. Like last summer, I have a problem with Maruf. And I need to fix it if I can fix this roof without using my hands just by saying fixed is going to be fixed should I use my hands why Allah is using his hands when he can just say the word and then he would be there especially after we saw Allah himself supposedly stating in chapter 3 verse number 59 that he said to Adam be and he was and if we remember there's a verse in the Quran says if this book is not from Allah you will find in it a lot of contradiction Do you see it? One verse saying that Allah he said to Adam be and he was the other verse saying that Allah he have to work with his hands to make Adam Adam And when Allah he is using his hands Is that only to create Adam? No. The Quran confirmed that Allah He built 
the earth and the heaven by using his hands so the hands of Allah are literally a physical hands who they are literally used the same as we use our hands we build with it we eat with it we hold things with it and this is explained why Muhammad believed that Allah have five fingers in every hand so the question now here instead of the Muslims focusing in their God to be one God what about we try to find who is your God and how why he looked like this why he have two hands in the right side how, why we have he have one shin which will make him jump like a kangaroo uh, imagine if you have one foot I mean how you can walk with it and why he have a foot anyway Are we following, guys? How, why he have a foot? God, our God, he came to us as a man because he was walking between us. He came, he have hands because he is, came in the flesh of a human. We as a Christian, we believe that Jesus the Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. Which means he humbled himself, our God, he humbled himself and he came in the image of a man. But this is how your God is. Your God is, reality is, he, this is how he is. He's not taking a new form. No, he is a person with two hands. Two hands in the right side of his shoulder. One foot and one shin. And two eyes. And one mouth. Why? A Muslim, a Muslim, she is upset from me and she said, go to hell with, with HIV. And this is a great example that the one God of Islam is not a hell for God. He made out of Muslims people who curse and he hate people around them just because they don't agree with them. While the God of the Christian says, pray for them. So for me as a Christian, my Lord, he said to me, I pray for you if you have HIV to be healed, not to curse you to have it. And this is what make a difference between my God and your God. You claim that you have one God, but obviously your God, he did not make something good out of you. Your God made you a person who curse, hate, and, you know, you, you, cannot, you cannot even uh, uh, act normally as a normal human. My God was able to change me for better and for good. Look at this guy. This is the spirit of Islam. CP, go to hell with your HIV. I don't know. Maybe I slept with you, and this is why you think I have HIV because you are. Car Did you give it to me or something? Where you, where you get this from? Ah, so you are a lady who have an HIV sleeping around, and you thought you slept with me. No, I did not sleep with you, and I don't have that disease. Thanks God. But as I know, you're a prophet, according to the hadith, that all his wives was infected with sexual disease. And I can prove it. As long as you mention this, excuse me, I have to show you that you Muslims believe in a prophet who was infected, obviously, with sexual disease. Let us read this. You're a prophet. All the women he slept with, they have in their vaginal thin and yellow water. And if you ask any doctor, he will say to you that this is a clear proof of a sexual infection. That is not a healthy vagina. Now, I will give you a chance to pray for Muhammad so he might not die because of his sexual disease. And because Muhammad is moving, as you see, he, he thinks, oh, look, look what he says. The women's water is thin and yellow. 
So Muhammad he never slept with the women. She is not infected. Do you see it? Why all the women of Muhammad they have a yellow thin water in their vagina? Hello? Be careful when you say something to Christian Prince because he will answer you in a way you don't like. And as you see, we answer with reference, not like with cursing. We don't curse. Now, I'm not going to ask you, by the way, how silly your prophet when he says here that the water of the man is thick and white and the water of the woman is thin and yellow and which of one of them comes first, the child will resemble him. Now I know, Zachary Naik, he looked like who? Based on this, obviously his father have orgasm first. Now I know how why Trump he looked like that. He looked like his father. And here, by the way, it's not only about a look, it's about the gender too. Because obviously, when they, his father and his mother, they did the boom boom, uh, obviously the father of Trump, he had orgasm first. And this is what it's called, the science of Allah. I remember Muhammad, he don't speak of his own. Everything he says, everything he says, it's an inspiration from Allah. And obviously, this is a fantasy, not a science. This is a stupidity, not knowledge. Based on this, if you don't want to have a son, you would like to have a girl, daughter, well, don't have orgasm first, let your wife have orgasm. And by the way, the funny, the wife of Muhammad, she said to him when he was explaining to a woman about the water in her vagina, she said to him, and do the women have that? Which means, do the women have orgasm? The Muslim translation, they say, is do the women see what it dreams? The fact she was not saying that. Which means, Muhammad's wife, she never have orgasm too. Do we have any Muslim here have an objection? Any Muslim, he want to say something to us. Please feel free. I would like to listen to you. And trust me, we as a Christian, we don't hate you. You know, we are we have objection for this cult. It's a stupid cult, but we are not here to to hate you or to speak against you. You are not. You know, you you are a victim of this cult. You are not really. Uh, you're not the problem. <clears throat> uh, he said he want to punish me in uh, in Germany. Abdul, you know, let the Abdul try to punish me. I like it as if. Uh, 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 I don't know if you saw Amir in uh, you know if you see Amir Amir he can eat this Ramadan you know let him punish him I, I will not even get involved I will watch <laughs> or let him punish me too I mean they are silly they teach violence we don't want to teach violence and we don't believe in violence but this is a clear sign that they are losing ground and they are upset for they cannot answer us they make videos, they debate themselves. Oh, here you go, call me. This guy, how many times I said, okay, give me your Skype, I will call you. He will not dare. Christian Prince is lying. I will show you the proof. Let me show you. But they cannot and they will not dare to call me. <clears throat> what if both have orgasm in the same time? That's a good question. <clears throat> Uh, I cannot say that he will be a gay because according to different reference in Islam the gays are the children of those who their The husband he have sex with the women from her ass excuse my language According to Muslims if a man he have sex with his wife from her long wrong location That make the son a gay some they say if he look at her vagina that will make the son blind 
all right this is why Aisha she said I never saw the penis of Muhammad I don't know why she said that maybe because it's so small or because maybe it's so shiny let me see if I can find the reference <clears throat> Uh, all right <clears throat> I mean sometime I find the stories it's in Islamic books is beyond silly how in the world a woman she is having sex with the man she never saw his penis so what she saw <laughs> do you see it his wife she never saw the private part of her husband why is that I'm not going to go in details, but I mean, isn't it? This is funny and stupid. And what's wrong with the women seeing the the the, the penis of her husband? If you if the if the wife she cannot see the penis of her husband, she will see the penis of who? She's his wife, and they can have sex lawfully. So what they were doing all this time? Maybe she could not find it. This is a remind me of an Arabian joke. A guy, he went to the tailor and he told him, I want a pant with a big, 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 big zipper. The guy, he said, wow, it must be so big. <laughs> the guy, he said, no, it's so small, I cannot find it. <laughs> So Aisha, she never saw the private part of the messenger of Allah. And you are asking me why Aisha, she never have a children? Well, she never saw it. As simple as that. Any Muslim have anything to say? Guys, if you read the books of Muslims, you will die laughing. I don't know how many of you they have my book, Sex and Allah. Read it and, and, and it's fun. It's really fun. Madness, stupidity, crazy. <clears throat> Any Muslim have something to say? The stories about private parts in Islam is beyond the imagination. Like Muhammad, he claimed that when his mother, she gave birth to him, <coughs> excuse me, a light came out from her vagina and reached all the way to Damascus. And this is why, actually, uh, uh, you know, my grand grand grandfather, he said he was going in a trip at that time, not to Syria, but to close, like he was going to Jerusalem. And in the way, they saw a light coming all the way from Mecca, very fast. And uh, my grandfather, he lost his sight for a few days. And he told us, that uh, the proof that this is the light of the mother Muhammad, uh, because it was, it have a smell. The light came from the mother of Muhammad vagina all the way to the to Damascus But those who live next door did not see it Why nobody in Mecca saw the light to the point the Muslims the, 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 the Arab around him they keep saying to him give us a miracle give us a sign 
if this has happened well all the all the village will see that people in Damascus they have seen this uh, light but the neighbors did not see it and actually this is my worry now if I marry a Muslim woman or even a Middle Eastern woman as you know we are Middle Eastern you know I'm worried like should I wear a welding mask before we take off our clothes because what if my wife she have the same private part like the mother of Muhammad a nuke private part she took off her panty of oh, the light come out here we go I go blind are you happy now and maybe this is why I should not look So as you see, the Muslim they try to focus in they have one God to avoid asking about how silly this cult is. Ask no questions. The only thing they will say to you, Allah is only one true God. If you ask in details, you will see how silly and how stupid this God, who he think that the women she have a sperm coming from her ribs, specifically the location of the necklace. Why wouldn't ask our ourselves? Is this God qualified to be God? Hmm? Can we consider? Hey guys, please, no, no personal insult in the text. And anyone will insult anyone. Doesn't matter if you are Christian or not, a Muslim or not. We will give you time out. If you repeat it, we will block you. So anyone will make a personal insult, attack the topic, not the person. The only one you can attack is a Christian prince. Feel free. Call me whatever you want. Hmm? Why wouldn't ask ourselves, what make Allah Allah? Your God. What make him God for you? Any Muslim have an idea? What make Allah God for you? Is that because he will provide us a lot of women who they are extremely zigzy? I like zigzy women. Especially if we can see through the marrow of their bones. And people they are asking me why you are still and not married I mean imagine you take her to bed and look what you see <laughs> you see an x-ray my wife the beautiful wife brother I pray to Allah five times a day bending my ass up and down saying words in a language I don't understand Doing jihad against the, the, the kuffar, exploding myself, and be, I became pieces to get a woman. I can see the marrow of her bones. Can't you do better? So our God is one God. He created for us, the brother, in the heaven, women, we can see the marrow of their bones. Nice to meet you, Marrow Marrow God. This is the God you are talking about. I really, really, I cannot wait to go to heaven and get those women. Very beautiful, very sexy, very hot. You know, we have to be uh, realistic.
this God is really something a brother you will see the marrow of your wives from now on your wife she cannot hide the hamburger she ate from you you can see it I mean you can see literally everything there when you go to heaven brother your wives will be walking around you in a very very emotional way and you can take selfie Allah is the best to create who can create better than this than Allah Let me introduce for you my first wife and now my those three wives in the image they are doing uh, what they call it zomba zomba in the beach I know you might be confused which one is the like which one is uh, all of them they have one name we call them who have you ever heard of all women in heaven their name is who they have the same face the same look the same voice the same song the same name and the same age I'm sure many of you is thinking seriously to convert to Islam now right but I found that the most accurate image for what Muhammad described for us in heaven in the hadith is this one's Look at your beautiful wife or look at this one. Oh boy I am not sure how many of you is thinking literally now to convert to Islam you know if I say to somebody that Muhammad he promised Muslims or Allah he promised Muslims to go to heaven and get this women we can see the, see the mirror of their bones they will say to me you are a liar there's no way Muhammad he will say such a stupid thing my friend it's in front of you I am not making things up do you see it and not only that Muhammad he swear by Allah that this is what you will get by Allah So don't tell me I'm making things up. And you know, for myself, uh, to be honest with you, I avoid looking at those pictures. As you know, I am single. I mean, I cannot handle it. Look at this. I mean, it's getting hot here. Let me turn off the heater. A guy, his name is Hussein. He is saying to me, liar. I mean, guys, I show them the reference in the front of them in the screen. I show them what their prophet said. I give the reference live on air, and yet they say to me, liar. How is that? By the way, just to be to be honest with you, Muhammad he never mentioned that in the heaven of Allah, women they will be wearing high heels. Just to let you know. Okay, so to give a, a correct image here, you have to take off the high heels from the picture. That will make it more accurate. So they spend the day telling us about Allah is one God, but they will not tell us that Allah, he work in x-ray clinic and he is going to make for us women, their nature of a flesh we can see through and even their bones is see through. 
by the way I see in her Billy here this woman I see I think I think she ate hummus I don't know if you can see the hummus with me here do you see the hummus I see hummus here I, I'm I think this here is like to, um, tomato maybe here tomato Any Muslim, he want to tell us about the one God he worship. So you give us headache every day, one God, one God, one God. You ever want a crazy God? What this? I spend my life praying to this God to get this. I don't want to go to heaven no more. What about we have other deal? Hey Allah, if I believe in you, can you just send me to Las Vegas? I mean, come on, please. I don't want to go there. Look at those women. I'm scared. And the funny is what Muslims they say to you in text, liar. Abdul, it's in the says in the front of us. This is Sahih al-Bukhari, brother. This is Sahih al Bukhari. I apologize, guys, for those pictures because last time I put those pictures in the screen, I heard like there's 20 Christians they converted to Islam immediately. And this is what happened. I put the picture in the screen and those men they start like in getting hot and they felt like they have a fever and then they felt the temptation taking over them and then they could not resist to say the shahada and this is for sure true story from Sahir Bukhari so you have one God you have thank God but this is the God you have my friend Stop fooling around trying to fool people saying we have one God who care if your God is one or two or three or four What we care for is that your God have no good ethic What kind of God is going to create for me a huge number of women for sex If your God is a true God then he should create one man and one woman maximum if sex is going to be there what about why your god do not know what the word love mean a man he love a woman they live together forever wonderful he made them love each other what the point of 70 women or 72 which i never met they are just made as sex toys for me all of them they sing the same song and the funny muhammad he says that each time you have sex with this woman she said to you you are the best man to f I mean, how in the world she say that if she never have sex with any man before? Aren't you saying to us they are virgins? So each time you have sex with her, she said to her husband, man, you are the best to F, man. And you're like, you are so proud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> I am the man. I am the best. Did you hear what she said? Say it again, say it again. I mean, how silly is that is? Each time her husband he sleep with her, but she never sleep with other man. Yet she say you are the best one to f. Shouldn't you go and try somebody else first, at least for a night or two? And that remind me of Aisha when she said, "Who of you have private parts like the Prophet?" How Aisha she knew. من منكم يملك إرابه؟ We cannot find the hadith in English. Here we go. And look how the Muslim translate this. 
even if we go with their false translation. When Aisha, she says, who among you can control his desire as the messenger control his desire? How she knew? Can somebody tell me? She's talking to men. He's trying to call me. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Hussein is trying to call me. Did you get the permission from Mama Hussein before you call me? Be careful, huh? Okay, let me call you, Hussein. Hold on. <coughs> so why you don't call me, Hussein? Call. If I call you, you promise me you will answer? Okay, I will call you. <laughs> answer, Hussein, answer. Look like Hussein, he could not control his desire to answer me. Or not to answer, sorry. What a coward. He just texted me here. <laughs> uh, you fool, you do not know. Alam al. Alam al khalq. Alam al amar. I mean, is that Arabic supposedly? This is what uh, Hussein she, he want. Why you don't call me and explain to me what are you saying? If this is Arabic, I don't know what gibberish is. What alam al khalaq? What is that? Hello, hello, it's me you're looking for. And you are scared as never before because I'm terrifying to you, and everybody is waiting. Hello, you are just another potato, and you have nothing to say. La 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 la. la. Who of you can control desire, his desire, like the prophet? I just simply look like she slept with all the town. And she noticed that nobody of the men they can control their penis as the prophet. How shameful! Do we have any Abdul? Hey guys, how is this mic working? Is it good? Is this mic better than the mic was yesterday? I switched to the old mic. Because I noticed that this mic and see, I can see the marrow of the bones of the mic. The other one I cannot see. And I like the marrow idea. Is this good? That's wonderful. Any Abdul? Did you see my message in Skype? I don't know. Let me see. No, I don't see any message in Skype. There's, there are zero messages. I think you, you messaged the, the wrong guy. <laughs> like Muhammad, when he received the message from Jibreel, the Shia, they say the real message was to Ali. Oh, boy. Jibreel, he have a wrong address. He was coming to Ali. Anyone? So you know, like uh, when when the Muslims they speak about having one God, you have always to be smart and don't make them fool you. Who cares if your God is one or two or three? The question is how stupid, how smart your God is. You have one God, but he is silly, he's stupid, he's an idiot, 
he's hateful he's violent he's disgusting and he don't know even how a baby is created you go on YouTube you search you find scientific miracles of the Quran and when we check them one by one we will find that each one of them is not only not true it is the opposite do the Shia believe in Muhammad like the Sunnah yes yes they believe in Muhammad but the Shia they focus more in Ali and his children and the Shia believe uh, that Muhammad and his family they are created from the lights of Allah and they used to be four five stars in the in the eyes of Allah in the, in the forehead of Allah yes Ahmed how are you Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you, man? I'm fine. How about you? Allah, I am good. But always when I call you, I have a feeling that you will uh, will hang up the phone in the end. Well, you know, I don't like uh, people lying to me. I like people to be honest. I'm not lying at you, man. Okay, let us so, let us know stop. What the hell that you're doing? Okay, let, let us see. see. Let us see. You let us see. Let, let us see. One, one, one thing. One thing. Uh -huh. I will let you speak. Okay. No problem. <laughs> one thing, man. Brother Christian. You don't have a chance in your mind that maybe this God is real. Maybe you are doing a dangerous stuff. Maybe God will punish you one day with something. To be honest with you, God, let, you let know? me tell you what happened to me. I was going to Walmart and a woman, she is like in the size of 500 kilograms. She stepped in my foot. I think this is God punished to me from Allah. Do you think so? <laughs> Until now, my toes is hurting me. Look at it. Yeah, look, he, it's big. It's not about that. Yeah, yeah. Christian, what Christian, are you talking you about? Talking what I know. Look what Allah. If Allah is is a true God, look what's happening to you, Muslims. I mean, don't you see what's happening? You are crossing the sea just to find a piece of a bread to eat. Look what happened to Somalia. Look what they happened to Syria. Look, Jews, look what happened to Iraq. Happened to look, the Jews in the okay, what the happened to the Jews? No, the Jews. Also the Jews had, until uh, now. The Jews back. until now. They are the most rich, wealthy, rich people in the world. What are you talking about? Look at yes, the Jews. We took our part. We look, hold on, hold on. Look at world. Israel. Look at Israel and look at you. Now let's go back to the topic. Yeah, but what? before we were also rich and we were taking everything on the world and we are spreading everything in the world like America is doing right now. But what you need? No, to no, no, no. You, the you Muslims, you, you, no, 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 right no, now, no. You see? Promoting before. No, you, you Muslims. Even when you, when you conquer, only the caliphate get rich and you Muslims stay poor and you die. And look at you, still is the same. You go to Saudi Arabia still until now the most of people they don't even have jobs and they are homeless They can't even afford to get married now. Let's go okay, to the top not American, but you went to America to go to get my Work and you 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 want you want to secure your family, right? You also did the same thing. No, I don't, yeah, I, don't, I, don't I don't have a wife, you know, I you know I, I, All my wives like the, the, what happened to me. I think this is a punishment from Allah each time I, uh, I I ask a girl to marry me. She commits suicide. What do you think the problem? No oh, man, come on, Christian, don't mock. Well, please. I am not mocking. I'm, I'm, and you are the one who is mocking. You are the one who says to me that Allah is punishing me. My friend, I'm is, not is it please. you? Uh, is I it you who is saying to me Allah is going to punish me? Or he, you know, don't aren't you afraid from Allah punishment? Am I afraid from Allah? Punishment? No, you are the one who said that to me. Aren't you the one who said to me that? Yes, yes, of okay. course, I told you. Okay, that. let me ask you. In the Quran, Allah He said to the Christians, and I am, mm -hmm. and I am a Christian. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe in Muhammad. I am going to erase your eyes and your, you know, I, your eyes, your eyes and your uh, eyebrows, and your your mouth, your nose. I will, I will point, I will put your nose inside your head. Why Allah? He make a threat, but he did not do it. Why he cannot do it? Uh, God also said that He will burn you in, in hellfire. He will give you a new skin every time it will. Get no, burned, but, so. but that's another question. You can talk about that uh, uh, later. No problem. How okay. Allah He says to the Christians, if you don't believe now in Allah. I am going to erase the details of your faces. I will make okay. you with no mouth, with no ears, huh. with no eyes, with no eyebrows, and I will okay. push your nose inside your head. Okay. And and he said to them, I will do that to you the same as I did to the Jews. I made them pigs and monkeys. So this okay. is not about the judgment day. This is about now. So why Allah is not doing that to me? Because it was not talking about you. It was talking about people at that time. Okay, right? why he did not do it to those people at that time? In the time of Muhammad? Why he did like, not do that? It is the, the same verse. Listen, it is the same verse that was talking out of context when you, when you, I, I heard you two days ago talking about uh, kill them wherever you see them. Hmm. You Answer know, about this now. We can go to the front. Don't jump. What about I'm not this? Jumping. It is did, the same thing. Did I'm Allah know? Did Allah situation. did Allah make anyone erase his face and he was a Christian for he did not believe in Muhammad? Can no. you give me an there example? There is no verse. There is no verse in the Quran 
that tell us to take side, that tell us to be racist to the uh, Jewish. This or is another question. The, this is another question. Why you are changing the topic? You see why I hang up on you? I like to no, talk. No, I, I like to talk. I like to talk to an adult. I talk about something. You answer about things. I have nothing to do with it now. I am asking no, you. No, no, no. Did Allah? No, 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 no. Don't, don't say. That. Don't make me hang up on you. Like I am that. talking that to you as an adult. Ahmed, 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 Ahmed. They want to turn us to dogs. Listen, listen. Either you are a consistent an adult, and you talk to me and you answer what I'm talking about. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So don't change the topic. This is a beautiful. Don't change the topic. So now show me. Where is the ones? Where is the? Where is the ones? Hold on. Hold on. Where is the ones, where is the Christians who Allah made their faces erased? I don't know. So why Allah yes. is making a lie? I, d I don't know if this is a lie. Why not? I, I mean, this because, is true. because he, he threatened them in the time of Muhammad. If you don't believe in Muhammad, I will erase your faces and nothing happened. My friend, okay, you are picking words. God said, if you don't believe in Muhammad and God, you will go to hell. It's it's worse. No, than this is not about judgment face. day. This is about the time when Muhammad. He said that to them as the same as I did to the Jews. He did it already. This is not about judgment day. So he is a threaten. If you don't believe in Muhammad, I am going to erase the details of your face. Okay, so what is the problem of that? The Did problem Jesus is that this is a lie because in God in your Bible. The Jesus problem says, is the problem is me and God, the, pro uh, the problem is your God is not a true God. He said something and that never happened, uh -huh. which means okay, Muhammad is true. probably okay. Let me ask you, have you ever seen a person raising his head before the Imam finished the finish, finish the prayer? You said your God is not true God. This is your God, your God, your God. This is God. to you. Your God, your God is not a true God, it's not exist. Now I'm asking you. Yeah, have no you problem. ever have no, you no, ever no. seen uh, Ahmad, yeah, Ahmad, Ahmad, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. listen, listen, when you go to the mosque, be honest with me, have you ever seen a Muslim raising his head before the Imam finished the prayer? No, never. Never? No Muslim raise head. I can show you tons of videos right now. What are you talking about? Wait, wait, wait. You are talking in the masjid when someone yes. is praying behind the Imam, right? Yeah, yeah. If you are praying behind the Imam, you do whatever he does. Okay. There will be people. There will be people in the back, mm. in the in the back, mm. praying alone because they are behind. Okay. So ha place. have you have you ever witnessed a person he raised his head before the Imam? He raised his head. Let us say by mistake or whatever. No, no, no. No by mistake. Yes, some people do mistake. Yes. Okay, thank by you mistake, very much. Okay, guys, by mistake. Okay, by mistake. Okay, okay, we got guys. He he saw some people by mistake. They do that. Okay, now, your prophet he says. Aren't you afraid to raise your head before the Imam finished the prayer because Allah will make your head the head of a donkey? <laughs> Are you laughing at your prophet now or what? Christian, Christian, I know my prophet. Are you laughing at your prophet? Did did no. you see the man? You just said yes by mistake. Some people they do that and everybody heard yes. you. Did yes. you see any of those who raised their head before the Imam raised his head turn into a donkey? Yeah, he's Listen, if this hadith is hadith sahih, I don't I don't remember all the hadith sahih. It's over six thousand, but if it's sahih, it is he will be talking about someone. It is who will raise, Yeah, he will be he will be talking about someone who will raise his head in purpose before the imam. That means ah, he's not in purpose, in purpose. <laughs> okay, okay, and, and you are telling me, and you are, and you are telling me, okay, okay, and you are telling me from from one thousand four hundred years until now, not even a single Muslim he raised his head in purpose. <laughs> Don't tell me in any way. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Happened to me. Uh, listen, listen. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Obviously, okay. How come? How come for fourteen hundred years, not a single Muslim, Allah, he made his head the head of a donkey? Can you prove that? Show me. Do you have a human being here ahead of a donkey? Can you prove that that nobody? You have to prove it. You have to prove it. Do you have you ever seen a man he have a head of a donkey is a Muslim? Yeah, I, I saw. I saw man. I saw men in front mm. of my eyes because mm. they are hypocrite. Mm. They have a very bad death because they hypocrites. But okay. your prophet, some your, of them, your prophet, some of them, my friend. Them, listen, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, hold on. In front of my eyes. Okay. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? What, what do you mean? Bad death? Like what happened? Okay, I will tell you. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Mm. One guy was mocking God. Okay. And he drove the car in front of me. Mm. Okay. God, okay. Uh, God, Allah yirhamu, yani God bless his soul. <laughs> I, I wish that God forgive him. <laughs> he, was, he was a nice guy. Mm. But because he was so arrogant, he was talking about God. He was an atheist. He didn't believe in God. Mm. 
you know, and he starts saying if God and if that and if this. He, this guy started driving his car, and when he drove his car, my friend, ten minutes later, we got a call that he got he he died on the street, mm. and the car got burned on him. He got burned inside the car, my friend. Ten minutes later, my friend. That's this, why I'm saying to you. This kid. is really this is really disgusting. Yeah, sometimes, uh, uh, okay, sometimes. listen, listen. I have a story that somebody he made fun of the miswak, and then Allah he made him a rat, and he made him give a birth to a rat. This actually, this is not true. This is not true. So what if I show you the reference? Uh, Christian, you are bringing reference from there and that. You are, you are doing exactly. You are doing exactly what the racist Muslims are doing. Okay, there is some let me ask Muslim you. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, did Allah make the Jews rats? Did Allah make the Jews rats? Yes. No, but maybe he he uh, what you call it. He gave them some attributes because the people of uh, Israel at that time they were ignorant. Okay, you know, so it's like uh, you are, uh, no. Uh, my you question are is, from okay, my, my question to you, Allah, he, Allah, he, when he cursed the Jews, what he made them? He made them, what animals he made them? Do you know? He didn't make, but he cursed them. He will make him. He, he will, will make, make them? them. No, the Quran says no. The Quran says I don't know what you are. You sure you are a Muslim? Wallahi alhamdulillah. Okay. Like, well, but you know, the thing is, I don't go into details. I do, I'm not interested to know how did the, how did this guy died? How did this guy, uh, did he turn to a monkey? I'm interested in the message. My friend, the, the message Quran, message. here we go. Those verses in front of you on the screen. Chapter 2, verse number two, uh, 65. Chapter 5, verse number 60. Chapter, chapter 7, 166. It says yeah, that, yeah, that we, 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 made, we, made, we made them pigs and monkeys. Here we go. Shall I tell you uh, 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 the of wars case in their uh, uh, retribution with Allah, the wars, which means he's talking about the Jews, whom Allah has cursed him, on whom he has worth has failing, and of hope, uh, and the translation is really horrible. Let me change. See, I'm telling you, that's why you have uh, confusion. You are reading a translation. I'm reading the original book, and there is nothing about what you are saying uh, in did, the original. Did, did, you, did you forget I am an Arab, Ahmad? No, I don't forget you are. Okay, so what do you mean? What do you mean? I'm reading translation. What do you mean? I'm reading translation. I'm reading for you. I'm reading you translation. Here we go. But hold on. All hell on be okum, etc. And Mathubat and Allah him in Latin, what about Allah Ali who was Alamin Homo Kredo or Khanazir? Do you see it? Yes. So here we go. It doesn't matter what we read the language. You speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. In front of us, Allah, He made the pigs, He made the Jews. Pigs and monkeys, not in the judgment day, as you said. Wait a minute. Didn't you see any Muslim who are racist? There is racist Muslim. This is another question. You said that Allah He will make them in the judgment day, but the Quran no. says He made them already. I don't agree with that. I'm just trying to be polite. I it's in front of you, guys. Does it say that in English? Even in English, it says that Allah okay, He cursed okay. them. Don't tell me in English. Allah He cursed them and He transformed. Trans he transformed okay. them into apes. Transformed. <laughs> You, you don't you speak Arabic? What's wrong with you? In the front of I you, it says Arabic. you are reading. Okay, it, yeah, yeah. it says it says what Jaala what Jaala mean home. Do you know what Jaala mean? Yeah. Okay, Jaala is past tense. No, no, no. Is Jaala past tense or it is a future tense? To the end. This is how you should read Quran. What? You, the way you should read Quran <laughs> is to start the verse from the beginning <laughs> and then you finish it. Nice to meet you, Ahmad. Take care. Well, <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, guys, Allah He punished me. I I want to tell you a three story that Allah He punished me. Uh, yesterday I went to the bathroom, and in the bathroom the faucet was leaking. And really, I'm thinking that this is a punishment from Allah. I fixed the faucet. Today, I came back. I found the faucet not leaking no more. And I was wondering, why Allah don't punish me again and make the faucet leak again? Let me go to the bathroom. <laughs> you Muslims are very funny. Your prophet, he died a very horrible death. He died by poison. And actually, we can prove that according to Muhammad, Muhammad was punished by Allah. Let me show you. In the Quran, Muhammad, he said, claiming that his God said, that if Muhammad fabricated Quran, 
Chapter 69, verse number 46. And you can read actually in the verses before it. No, no problem. It says, If Muhammad invented any false thing, claiming it is from us, surely we will take him from his right hand and we will cut off his artery. And guess what happened? We go to the hadith. Muhammad, he said that this is what happened to him. You see it? Do you see it? So when you speak to me about Allah will punish me, obviously your Allah, he punished Muhammad and nothing happening to me. Thank God I'm healthy. One day the Muslims, Christian prince will die or will have an illness or something and they will say, see Allah, he punish, punish him. Yeah. That's a false statement. But based on the Quran, Muhammad claimed that Allah said, if he is fabricating Quran, Allah will cut his artery. And then we find that Muhammad saying exactly that this has happened to him. And I believe what happened here, that my God is the one who caused that to happen to Muhammad as additional proof to prove to us that Muhammad is a false prophet, not Allah. Muhammad, when he made the claim that if I am fabricating, Allah will cut my artery, he never thought it's going to happen. I don't debate with kids. I don't debate with adults. All Muslims are the same for me. I don't debate them. I just play. Don't you notice? I never debated a Muslim because there's no Muslim. The, the first thing a Muslim, you know, you, you need to know. An honest Muslim, he don't deny what we show in the front of him. You see, I'm showing him the screen. I show him that his God, he said that he made the, the Jews pigs and monkeys. He made them. He says, I never heard of this before. I don't believe in that. doesn't say that. He speaks Arabic. I read it for him in Arabic. Still, he says to me, no, this is about the future. But what are you talking about? I just show it to you in Arabic. I mean, I am showing it to you in the screen, in your language, which is my language too, and in English. Yet you keep saying to me, this is not true. The brothers and sisters, if you raise your head before the Imam brother, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. That explains why Ahmad and Najat look like that. Obviously, he raised his head before the Imam one day. Hello? Hey brother, brother, I am really afraid that Allah will punish your brother. Don't you know, brother, that you know you are doing something dangerous, brother? And if something happened to me in the future, you will say Allah punish him. But people die every day by disease, by cancer, by car accident. Millions of people die. And they are Muslims. Actually, the, the, the most people who die early are Muslims. Not like European. Uh, you will see a woman, she is, you know, a hundred something and she's still... Uh, Living and kicking and you see a guy in in the, in the Middle East. He is not even 55 and he's dying So here we go you are the one who keeps saying the name of Allah But you are the most people to suffer from death in in, in Islamic countries if you don't die from war you die from other issues Everything is corrupt even medicine is fake
Okay, hold on, hold on. Hussein, he gave us something to read. Hold on. I want to read it. My, I cannot I cannot resist the temptation. Theory of Alam al Khalaq. Alam al Amr. <coughs> I mean, this guy who wrote this article, obviously, he knew Arabic very well. Let me show you what this guy he posts for us so we can just read and laugh. <coughs> All right. The theological philosophy, the domain of these things in a divided various written description, the maddy material being okay. In the world commanded every being assume existence. Okay. The theory commanded is in retaliation of the Quran. In Okay, read the translation. Lo, your Lord Allah, who created the heaven and the earth in six days, then he mounted the, on the throne. He covered the day with the night, which is hast to follow it, and has made the sun and the moon and the stars uh, supervened by his command. He is verily is all creation and the commander. Okay, hold on. You see, you are the one who posts this article, and now I will make you regret. Your God is claiming that He is the one who make the day cover the night. How? Is it true that there is a day is covering the night? Is that real? Your God here, He says, that He is the one who made the sun, the moon, and the stars. Obviously, your God do not know that the sun is a star. And not only that, how the day and the night occurred according to Islam. The Quran explain. In chapter 18, verse number 86, it says that Allah is saying, that the sun set in a murky water how the sun and the day they follow each other the story will be explained by muhammad himself unless you want to say to me muhammad is an idiot you do not know what he's talking about we go to the hadith muhammad he says remember the one who's talking is muhammad so if you want to say you are a liar it's up to you your prophet says, I was sitting, this is Abu Dhar, he's saying, I was sitting behind Allah Messenger who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this set, supposedly speaking about the sun? I replied, Allah and his, uh, and, the, and his apostle knows best. <laughs> they associate the knowledge of God with the knowledge of man because Muhammad, you don't speak of himself, he's God and true. You know, he's, he is the one who have all the secret of the world. Muhammad he says it's set in a spring of warm water now that is not enough to explain to you what's happening here how the day and the night they occur according to Muhammad read carefully <clears throat> this is another hadith in Sahih al Bukhari once I was with the Prophet of Allah at the time of the sunset the Prophet said oh Abu Dhar do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. He said it goes and prostrate itself underneath Allah's throne. And that is Allah's statement. And the sun run into a fixed course. So when you quote for me this article, you just prove to me that Islam is a false cult. The sun it goes every day and prostrate itself the Sun itself is the one is going from point A to point B it is not the earth going around itself so we can see the day and the night no and Muhammad here he is even quoting the Quran to prove his point saying for Allah this is what it's meant in the Quran where it says in chapter 36 verse number 38 so my friend the one you gave me the link 
you just get your profit busted how Muhammad he say the Sun set in murky water in his Quran and in his hadith and how Muhammad he says that Allah he command the Sun to sit under his throne and the Sun she asked for permission every day let us go and find different hadith Read with me carefully. <clears throat> this one is all even more funny. The Prophet of Allah asked me at the sunset, Do you know where the sun goes at the time of the sunset? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows better. He said, It goes, i.e., travels till it's prostrate itself under the throne of Allah and, uh, and takes the permission to rise again. <laughs> Are you there, Hussein? Hussein, yeah, Hussein. I'm so proud of you for thank you for sending me the barbecue. Hussein, yeah, Hussein. Hussein, are you there? So your Quran, your Hadith, your Prophet getting you busted, saying that the sun set in a murky water, and this is the course of the sun. Hussein, ya Hussein. You said that Jesus was created by B? No, I did not say that. The Quran says that, you idiot. But for sure, this is impossible. Why? Because the Quran says that the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam, but Adam was not created by B. So Allah get himself busted again. Allah, he said that I created him by my hands. Hussein, ya Hussein. Abdul, wherever you go, no one is matched to debate me. I will not even debate myself. I will lose. Try something better. And not only this. The verse you just gave me, it says that Allah, he created the earth and the heaven in six days. Is that right? Is that right? The Quran says eight. There's different verse speaking that Allah He created the earth and the heaven in, in eight days. Secondly, here you notice something very funny. Do you see here it says then then Allah He mounted He the throne? What mounted He the throne? I mean, how silly this translation is. It doesn't say that. He mounted the throne. What do you mean? The throne was flipped. He mounted himself on the throne. Question. Who is carrying the throne of Allah? Is it true that Allah is carried by eight Mounting goats. Abdul, is it true that Allah is carried by eight mounting goats? I saw I saw Santa Claus once, but it was not really goats, to be honest with you. So what do you think? So Allah, he have a throne, and there is eight mountain goats are carrying here the throne. Let us go and find the hadith. <clears throat> mountain goats. Hold on. Read with me, uh, brother. Muhammad, by the way, he knew all kind of science and he knew the distance between the earth and the heaven and everything. He knew everything. And then he says, 
describing the seven heavens above the seven heaven there is a sea <laughs> guys I'm going to go vacation I'm going to go above the seven heaven to have a, like nobody there the beach is just for you so above the seven heaven there is a sea the distance between who, who, those surface and the bottom is like between the one heaven and the other which mean 700 years or 500 years the bend you know here it says 70 to 73 72 years as you see and different hadith Muhammad he says 500 years he changes mind and then he, he says above that there is eight mountain goats the distance between whose hoofs and hunches is like the distance between the heaven and the other and then Allah the exalted the blast is above that <laughs> I love it I love it I love it <clears throat> I wanted to buy a goat but the, the city did not allow me they are very strict in growing goats these days are you there Hussein which means the Sun sit literally in that sea under the goats which is the throne of Allah it doesn't say hold the throne well I can show it to you from the Quran <laughs> Look at this poor Abdul. He thinks he saved his ass by saying it doesn't say. <laughs> uh, I feel sorry for this cult. Oh boy. Supposedly now he fix it like it doesn't say that it says that in the Quran chapter 68 verse number 17 And the Muslims here they says they are eight angels in the translation But in fact they are eight goats according to your prophet Do you see it? hello all right guys I think we have enough for today I just wanted to share this topic with you please don't forget to download the video and save them and share them I am NOT keeping my videos for long in my page and to be sure that you guys are downloading this is why you see my videos are disappearing one after one so please give it like an hour from now maximum and you will see the whole video ready to download if the video always is more than two hours it take a little bit for the video to load so like if you uh, when we stop if you try to look it says like uh, two hours only this is in the beginning uh, unless it is less than two hours but it is if it is more than two hours it take a little bit maybe 20 minutes maybe one hour and then you can download the whole video and then I can delete it from my page now I want people to take what I am teaching and share it everywhere and in the same time always have a backup especially if you think there's a video is kind of interesting for you like the video we have about Muhammad is he another cult another cult leader which is extremely important so if you think there's some videos are really important you learn a lot from them so you want later to remember what I said reference save them you can save them in your G Drive not necessarily in your uh, uh, in your computer to save uh, memory all right so I want to say thank you everybody for being here and with my love for those people who they are in Indonesia in India in Thailand and all in Asia Philippines and for sure those who just woke up in Europe and they join us and actually I'm trying to do more broadcast for those who they are in Asia because I noticed that we are receiving a lot of a view from uh, Asian countries specifically from Indonesia and uh, India and Philippines <clears throat> so 
uh, I really love to help them as much as I can and I wish I speak their language but what we can do I don't otherwise we can make a revolution in a few years in Indonesia but the glory to the Lord we have many good Christians from Indonesia they are translating my videos by adding subtitle and they are doing a great job so I'm very grateful that the Lord he gave me the opportunity to communicate with those people who they deserve our love and our support we love all people in Indonesia Muslims Christians doesn't matter for the Lord is a Lord of love and because we love them all we don't save the best of what we have to ourselves only we would like to share it with them and that's why we invite them to accept the Messiah as their Lord as their Savior not because we hate you if we hate you we will not trust me care for your salvation but because we love you we offer you the best and you know that he is the best he's not a child molester like Muhammad he's not a criminal he's not a killer he's not a slave buyer or seller he's not a liar he's not a thief he's not a cheater he is the good God so I invite all people of Indonesia to learn more about the cult of Islam so they can learn more about the wonderful Messiah try to compare even though the compare between the Messiah and Muhammad is an insult to the Messiah but we have no choice because you are a Muslim and you will find that there is no way we can even compare between the holy name of the Messiah and Muhammad who try to call himself and make himself equal to God by choosing the name of Muhammad which is not his real name Muhammad mean the praised one how a human being there to call himself the praised one unless he is Satan only God is the praised one and that is the Messiah my Lord thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you and until we see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false and thank you very much